In this video, I want to walk you through another CFA level one exam style question devoted to time value of money. This time we're going to be computing the number of periods or N. So if this is something you want to get right in the exam, do keep watching and let's get solving. Okay, this is the question which I want us to have a go at. If 10,000 euro is invested in an account offering a return of 8% per year, Approximately how long will it take for the investment to double in value? 10 years, 9 years or 11? Okay, and uh, this time around I'm not going to do a timeline. Generally speaking, when doing uh, or when asked to compute and what I suggest you do is you just completely rely on the time value of money worksheet, even though your cur curriculum does contain formulas for computing and I think you shouldn't bother just do time value of money on your texas instruments calculator so it's just a question of getting the inputs right our pv is going to be ten thousand present value however what i'd like you to do is make this negative so when providing the relevant input ten thousand following but followed by the plus minus key and then obviously future value will be double that amount and please note that this time I'm suggesting you do the inputs not in the order in which the keys appear on your calculator as I said before in a previous video you can provide the inputs in any order your calculator will get it right don't worry so this is going to be twice as much and that's going to be 20,000 and this time I'm obviously not including not sticking a minus in front of that figure Remember, your calculator works on the basis of uh, inputs and outputs, inflows and outflows. So it can't handle a PV and an FV with the same sign. It will get confused. It will treat them as both being inflows or outflows. So you must make one of the inputs. I suggest the first one, the investment negative, so as to have a positive uh, result at the end, the FV. Otherwise, your calculator will display an error term. Now, our interest rate or expected rate of required rate of return is 8%. So we make I over Y equal to 8 and we're supposed to compute for the number of periods. So CPT uh, basically N and let's see what that gives. Please note that this time around I'm not showing you kind of the calculator strokes. I'm just saying what you should do for the relevant inputs and you should remember how to work with TVM. Provide the number first and then tell the calculator what it is. So Let's get the calculator. Let's begin with PV. So 10,000 followed by the plus minus key. And now make this the PV input. FV 20,000 followed by FV, no change to the sign. And eight for I over Y. And one thing I didn't say at the beginning, but I should have told you always before you start working with the calculator, it's a really, really good idea to press second followed by the FV key, just to clear the time value of money worksheet of any inputs which may be sitting there from previous problems. And um, let's compute for N, CPT, N, and I see a result which is very, very close to nine. Um, and that will obviously be the answer to the question. So that's answer B, isn't it? Nine years.